Hey y'all, welcome to and welcome back to b Red Garage. Today we're back on part two of our YJ trailer project. If you'll notice, we're missing some stuff up here. Took that stuff off in the first video. I'll try to link in description. But the goal here is to make this whole Jeep from the cow back look like a Jeep so it can be a trailer getting pulled by a Jeep. I, I know, it's silly. It's, it's probably silly, but we're gonna give it a shot. So today, I think we're gonna look at maybe need to clean up a few more pieces taken out um and we're probably going to do some measurements and try to figure out how we're going to get this floor made so i appreciate y'all watching let's see if we can't make this thing be rad y'all all right y'all here's a quick walk around of the progress so far um hood fenders grill all that stuff's gone i meant to take the brake booster off we got to get that thing off and uh this is what we're looking like in the cab this tub is actually in really good shape y'all um got a bit of a rust hole there but hey i'm not mad at it at all but anyway the idea here is to make a solid floor from here all the way up to here and then have this entire jeep be a trailer so just think about you could open your doors to get things out of it you could come around the back and use a tailgate tailgate's got a couple of whammies on it but it still closes and opens which is awesome um so yeah like i say we may clean up some other stuff like steering wheel and some other things but i think today we might do some ciphering as my old man called it and uh see what we can't figure out here all right y'all so a couple loose ends to tie up here i've been starting on that brake booster um it's a uh, 14 or 9 16 got backups on the back so probably no need to really make y'all sit through that as you notice there's not even a steering shaft through there so i think we're also gonna do um the steering column and steering wheel and stuff just uh just because just kind of in the way at this point and we want as much of this clean under here so we can try to make this level floor we're gonna see how this goes um i don't know i may time lapse the steering wheel or something that might be interesting i don't think there's going to be much interesting about the uh well either one really but the steering wheel is probably better than the brake booster all right y'all so we had half inch bolts at the bottom nine sixteenths up top i uh do not have a cool 3 8 ratchet, so I cheated and used this right here. I do not recommend this because this has so much torque. It can kick back, break your wrist, really. Um, I was just using it to be lazy because I broke them loose with, it. see, they're hand tight at best. So, let's see. Looks like it's just going to drop. Come on, buddy. No? Yeah, the two parts of the collar are out. Oh, there's like some, uh, maybe some glue kind of stuff. There we go. Oh, hold on. Let's look. Yeah, there's a collar out here that looks like it might not fit. Got her. It was this little guy pin, this clip that goes over here. It was actually hitting because it was lighter, wider around than that. Man, it's hot out here. All right, well, that's the steering column out. What? All right, y'all. So I'm just trying to do a visual representation of the, uh, the floor with the only CAD that I know, which is cardboard aided design. But, uh, Pretend this is most likely plywood. I don't really work with metal a lot. I don't really have the tools and stuff for it. I'd like to learn, but currently, this is probably gonna end up being plywood. But anyway, think of this as one piece from here, probably up to here, to the firewall. Maybe kind of where it is right now. I don't know, honestly. Um, and then we're gonna have bracing underneath various points. Now, what I think might be cool is being able to take the whole thing out as one and um you know if you needed to remove this floor you could maybe lean it up take it out the door because remember we'll have full doors up to here so when i measure i'll probably try to make enough uh or short enough line where if i did stand it up it could go out the door on the other side so that's kind of what i'm hoping to get at i haven't got those pedals and stuff off yet i've just been i've been doing some measurements and trying to figure out kind of where 
and how this is going to work. But one of the things I was saying about the cardboard aided design here, let's see, can I get y'all in here? Yeah. So, oh, thunder? Oh, that's awesome. It hasn't rained down here forever, y'all. I know I sound like an old Paul Paul, but rain would be amazing. So, anyway, um, let's say you did have this cardboard here. If you were able to pull it up to where you needed to make this crazy swoop here, this kind of groove here have it over the top where you want it to be and then you can either like press down and kind of mimic that uh like this. press down and either mimic that shape or you can draw if you're underneath it or if you're able to bend it down things like that so uh, kind of a cool way to uh to be able to use everyday things that are cheap and easy to get a hold of to kind of test fit and mock stuff up with it's really helped me out in the past for sure so yeah i know that was a little you know happen dash of a, a bit but once we actually kind of build the floor i think it'll make more sense it can also be useful stuff for stuff like this uh transmission tunnel this kind of hump right here you're able to lay down a piece of cardboard and kind of mold it and it kind of sort of keeps its shape or you can sometimes use duct tape and stuff man let's go thunder it would be awesome if it rained um, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna take some more measurements, mess around with the cardboard aided design a little bit, and uh, we'll see what we can't get into. All right, y'all. So there's probably like a real way to do this, like with measuring and angles and stuff. But um, what I did was I got this piece of cardboard right here, and I'm going to, I cut it where it fits pretty darn close in between here, and I'm gonna drop it back to where it's level well i'll use the, the nice side drop it back to where it's level right here and then i'm going to take my marker here and kind of a uh, trace underneath it and try to get this little swoop loop we got here and then hopefully by having it out to here and out to there it's pretty darn close as far as level levels anything i'm going to make let's see what we got Okay, this one was a little bit over. Let's see what we got. So this is a very rough estimate of the line here. So I'll have something I can cut off of if I even have a jigsaw or something. So I'm probably gonna mock this up with like a one by four or shoot, maybe even cardboard, I don't know, and see kind of how it looks. All right, y'all, let me turn y'all around. So this is a point in projects where it's kind of like where where are you going? How deep are you going? So like if you notice here, we can go to this side of the Jeep to the other side. I've cut a piece of cardboard that's about the same length. So the plan is to take my cut out here, put it at the right placement, and then cut it out of this big piece. It'll kind of give me a mock-up. Now you can see right here, we're hitting right there and we've got a gap in between there so are you actually wanting a piece of plywood or wood that's this long and then you cut out this angle or are you just going right here so with my goal being able to take this in and out if i need to i think what i'm probably going to do is have a piece from here to maybe about kind of the front of the door because I want to make sure one that you can lean it up and like take it out the door and then another that to do that it's not going to weigh a bajillion pounds and take like two people to do it so I think I'm going to try to cut out the angle of this little groove here right here um, I don't want a huge gap right here so I don't want to just butt a piece up but I don't think I'm committed enough to go into those angles and all that. So I'm going to kind of do some ciphering and tracing and figuring, and then I'll get back with y'all. All right, y'all. So the way I figured out this deal was I took my straight edge here up to the best I could right here, put this in the gap that would be. It's not the center, but I just made a line that matched right here, scooted it back to where I could put that center line here, 
tried to hold it as straight as I could and then ran the outline. So I'm hoping that cutting out this back side of it will make it to where this will slide in there. So we're gonna do that and see what's next. So if you haven't ever had to cut kind of a shape or anything out of cardboard going like across the little uh, channels, it can be kind of a pain. What I like to do is try to score it, which is lightly cut it as close to the line as I can um, a couple of three times with a really sharp razor blade and just kind of hope for the best because it's always a pain for some reason. See, I kind of missed here. I'm a little outside my line, so definitely not perfect. That's a little better. And then what you do is just try to go deeper and deeper, a little more pressure every time, and then finally cut through it. Oh man, I almost messed up y'all. So I was scoring these lines, just trying to start, um, start like an easy kind of, just so we can go cut it deeper, deeper. Um, and what I did was I almost messed up. I started scoring the bottom of this line. What we want is to cut out this part. A good practice is to take like your marker or pen and to kind of scratch here and mark what you don't want. I almost messed up and cut out um, the same image I had which would not have helped me because I need this whole piece so that was a close one y'all make sure and take your time and like I say scribble out and mark out your cut areas and don't do like I did and forget to do that yeah hey, y'all I might have changed my mind already so maybe instead of cutting this gap here I drop back and then just cut it flush I mean cut it straight where it's just a 90 because I only need about an inch and a half extra length and we should still be able to come up um it's hard to tell on the camera but i'm trying to get from this edge down here where i'm not under this lift that way i can still take it off so i think just three inches total and uh i think we're gonna mock up our first piece of plywood here in just a second so we'll see how that goes oh never mind y'all the universe was like hey put this scrap piece in there it's like 53 inches wide see what you think uh yeah this is gonna be our winner y'all we're gonna take our cut out here, mock it up, or use our uh, cardboard. We're gonna cut this section out. And even if this doesn't stay forever, this is a great free piece of uh, lumber because you know how expensive plywood is. And uh, we're gonna start with that. All right, y'all, get ready. It's about to be proof as to why there says, uh, why it says entertainment only on the channel. So we got this hump right here. The board goes all the way to here, but it catches right here and it's at an angle, so it doesn't become level. So what I've done is through a series of completely haphazard measurements, do not recommend this, I found the center of the board at the top measured down to the hump right there. And I think I have measured out this rectangle that needs to be cut out. Now, I can cut the hole out, I believe, and just kind of let it show through. That might even help it, like kind of locate it. But I thought I would try first to just kind of knock out maybe two layers. You know, plywood's got like these layers to it. Um, however, I don't have the right tools. This is not a wood chisel at all. This isn't even a chisel. So that is a brick hammer. So yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna maybe try to see if we can tap some of this out, if not, if I can just kind of figure out if it's right where it needs to be, even if we cut it out, that might be all right. Cause like I say, it might help locate it. So let's, uh, let's get y'all set up and give this a shot. All right, let's see here. Wrong tools for the job, check. Don't actually know what I'm doing, check. That is, these are all correct statements. All right, let's see here. Uh, I don't even know if this is possible. I mean, I guess it's possible if you hit stuff hard enough but I don't know, let me just see here. Okay, maybe need 
to come towards me. I mean, really what it needs to do is be a wood chisel and be the correct tool for the job is really what it needs. Let's, uh, since we're trying out bad ideas, let's do this Harbor Freight screwdriver because it's obviously shock resistant, right? Or impact resistant with this plastic top. Oh yeah, nothing there at all. I think the reason why is because it's a screwdriver and it's not. <laughs> I may chip away at this. If I had my good sander, I could probably just sand down in here because I just think I need a little bit. But if this doesn't turn out, we'll probably end up cutting the hole out after I try to double check again to make sure my measurements are right. So, all right, y'all. Just yet another time when the wrong tool for the job doesn't work. Dang it, I just realized I didn't film it, but I'm still, still the wrong way. I took my old 100-year-old circle saw and I made cross cuts, like long cuts, and you can kind of see diagonals across those long cuts, and I've just been chipping this stuff out with, once again, not the right tool, not the right chisel at all. So let's go take a look at this and see how it looks. Um, again, I, I didn't get the process, and I apologize, but I don't think I would have learned nothing from that because that's probably not even the right way to do it. I know, I know. Put the board in, take the board out. Put the board in, take the board out. <laughs> but I've got this little depression here that I'm hoping is deep enough. It's two of the four, I think. No, it's two of the five. Might be three of the five layers. So I'm going to hope that when we... Oh, can y'all see? We got a weird glare here. Okay. I'm going to put this bad boy down here and hope that it helps. It would be nice for this to really feel like it was fitting. Oh, okay, what was what happened there? My block's full. Yes, they did. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, I think it's actually in there, but it's probably not deep enough. We're probably gonna have to cut it all the way through. Yeah. Ugh. Well, dang it. All right. Guess we'll just cut a hole in it. Didn't really want to do for you with another board in, board out, but I cleaned it up real good. I've only got two layers of plywood left. It fits over there perfectly, and it's just not uh, going to lay down and be level. It's uh, It just kicks up just a little bit, um, but enough to matter. So, yep, it's actually not that bad. I need, oh, sorry, not that bad. I need to kind of... Come on, there we go. But yes, see, it still comes up at an angle. So, I hate to do it, but I think I'm going to have to cut it out. All right, y'all. It's still not level, but we're going to quit with that for today. Um, there might be a little bit more shaving I could do, but it doesn't look too bad. Uh, might could shave a little bit on the back. Um, didn't want to mess with banging that hump down or anything. Want to try to leave the stuff as together as I can. But check this out, y'all. If we don't cut it in front of the hump, like I thought about before, if we don't cut that, or if we even make a longer piece later to go further, um, check it out. We've got six foot of space front to back and of that come on harbor freight you can do it uh can i do this one handed probably not no cannot let's just let's cheat hook it right here okay three foot and almost three and three quarter that's probably what's getting taken up by this bolt here. So we got about three foot by six foot in the bed here, which I mean, that's a pretty good bit of space if we're talking just stuff for like a family to go on vacation. Remember, this is not like a uh, camping or overland or anything like that. I think the plan next time we come out is gonna be to get some sheet metal and we're going to try to figure out how to kind of bend and cut and get this, this hole covered up. And we may think about do we want to go all the way back to here with a new piece? We might could do that. Or do we even want to cut it shorter, have it lay down before the hump? I don't, I don't know. But I know I'm happy. I'm happy that we're getting some progress. Probably didn't seem like much, y'all, but 
a lot of work today back and forth a lot of stuff that i didn't want to bore y'all with i am going to make some feet probably for each corner of this but they're going to be nothing special just pieces of two by four cut after i kind of measure the height and you can tell i got a gap right here i'm a lot better over here i could have done this i'm sure more like math and more um i don't know i guess engineered it better but for a first try and for what i'm working with now i'm okay with it um yeah so this is this is kind of where we're at today i think this is the doing for today i'm pretty wiped it's been another hot day and i think we're uh i think we're gonna move ahead and call it a day all right y'all that's where we're at uh, probably didn't seem like a ton of progress today but getting this floor down was really something i really wanted to do put some feet on this bad boy get it where it needs to be definitely for a test run that plywood might be too thick it might just might just not be right but i hate for a free scrap piece of wood and some work with the wrong tools usually we did okay um i'm really excited about this project i hope y'all are too i hope to turn this into something kind of cool i am kind of struggling finding a roll cage a hard top and some doors for these yjs um i'll just have to keep looking that's probably gonna be the last piece of the puzzle but on the next video, we're gonna look into covering up that hole there in the transmission tunnel. Um, we might even do some wiring, some light wiring with a, um, like a trailer light kit to uh, get some tail lights back there. Kind of want it to still function as blinkers, stop lights and all that. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. If y'all like the content, I really appreciate it. Um, appreciate y'all watching, appreciate you liking, commenting, everything. If you consider subscribing, that would be awesome. And uh, just keep on doing what y'all do. Keep on getting out there and making it be rad, everybody. We'll talk to you later.